Hey guys, this is Dean from Sonic Gaming UK and we are playing Predators of the Lost Tribes mod again. This is episode 4 and I think this episode I'm going to go and kill me some super predators or berserker predators. The ones out of the Predators film. Also, I've heard there is a reboot of Predators coming. I'm not sure if that's going to be a remake or... Uh, just like a reboot of the franchise although I think it's going to be pretty cool I've seen a lot of people post negative comments on uh, film sites and stuff like that but anyway back to what we're doing right first I am going to show you all of the biomass well I say all most of them because I'm not sure I've got all of all of them on me at the moment Right, guys, after Skyrim decided to crash on me, after I recovered the start bit, we can finally get on to checking out the masks. The mask I've got on now is the one from Predators, and there's a person over there coming behind me. I hope they're friendly, and they don't start attacking me straight away. Right, this one. It's good. It's, it's the uh, geranium version of... The Dragon Priest mask, which you can wear, I think, on the normal one. I haven't played Skyrim enough, the uh, actual storylines, to know what the purpose of the Dragon Priest masks are. But yeah, that looks pretty damn cool. It's got, like, the tusk thing. It looks a bit like the Tracker mask to me. Oh, this one. I... I'm not. I'm not sure why this one was made. I think it's. It was requested by fans of the mod, but obviously you can tell what it is. It's a stormtrooper, which I think it looks pretty funny. Next, we have the geranium savage mask. The thing is, with the geranium textures, you can't really see all of the details on the side of the mask, but it does look pretty cool. Again, it's, it's not one of my favourites. It does. They all look. Pr they look damn cool. But I have my personal preferences. Now this one, this mask is. It's got to be the one of the best masks. It looks so badass, and especially if you have like the full Falmer armor. And with the update, which should be coming, the update for the mod, which should be coming out in at the end of July, with bone armor add-ons uh, and like a whole load of new masks it looks pr it looks like pretty damn cool this will look amazing with the new armor add-ons i think so we have the toss what is called tusk spy mask i think this spy mask is getting changed in the next update because the author of the mods do giving all the masks a ho overhaul and uh making the textures more high definition so I think this one is going to be changed with um, if you've ever seen the first Alien vs Predator Scars by Mask with the uh, the marking on top from the uh, Aliens Acid Blood that one so personally I'll probably be using that one not this one he's made some really unique masks it looks so cool because you can see the uh, skull on the inside of the dome. Although the texture's not that high. I think the, these will be overhauled when the author does, redoes the, alien, the xenomorph textures even. This one is, if I'm not mistaken, out of Predators 2, I think. The Gort by Mask, this one's called. It looks pretty cool, I think. It looks slightly like the Celtic one, which I think the authors plan on bringing out. Not with this update, but in one of the updates, so that'd be cool. Viper by Mask. Now, I, I've read um, comments about the Vipers by Mask, and I think it's a it's actual personal made one by the author himself he designed this mask so it's I've got to say it's one of my favorites and uh, I got he's put it in I've, 
and fans of Predator <laughs> obviously know which which one this is. Alien vs Predator 2, which I thought was a great film. I like, I like all the Predator films and Alien films, to be honest. But yeah, this has got to be one of the coolest masks you can get. The wolf mask. This mask. Oh. Off, um, this mask is off Predator Concrete Jungle, which is a game I haven't played in literally years. Such a cool mask though, because you've got like, it looks like sort of mouldy, you've got the mouldy flesh and the cyborg built in aimers and stuff, I don't know what they're called. And of course we have the traditional hunter's mask, which is the most common mask and it's probably my favourite, personally, to be honest. I think that is all for the ones I have at the moment. There is the Berserker mask and one or two other masks which I may have missed. But where we're going in a second, we will be should be able to pick up the Berserker mask off one of the Berserker Predators. Right, so I am just on the edge of Falkreef on upon the cliff. And I need to go to the Yautra Berserker camp, all the way over there, which it won't take me too long to get to. Oh, and by the way, uh, as someone kindly commented saying that I had missed some chests in the first episode, I would just like to say, if I do miss any chests, it's because the whole point of these episodes is not to check out what's already in Skyrim, but to check out the Predator mod for Skyrim. So. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not too far from the camp now. I think it's just over these hills. It's in a pathway towards one of the Nordic ruins. I think I've gone the right way. There's a camp over there. And then that one's the Yautja camp, I think. Hopefully it is. I don't know. I'm going to stay invisible and creep. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, he's a, he's a hunter. I'll just, I'll just leave him to his business. Yes, oh, I'm very close now. So I'm staying invisible just so they don't see me straight away. Oh, it's, oh, I see. That all the way down there is the uh, predator camp. Oh, hello, fox. Right. Um, I was going to go to dual wield the come on Dean, think the combi sticks but then I thought with the damage it'd just be complete overkill so I've gone for the chopper blades again hopefully they shouldn't be too hard to kill okay now I've just tried to fix my running because I can't seem to run unless I hold Alt down, which should be the sprint, but I've bound sprint to shift because I'm used to using sprint to shift in other games. Or shift to sprint, should I say. So hopefully that doesn't affect me too much killing these guys. Oh, oh I see them, they've seen me already. Ooh. Yeah, you can tell the Berserk Pro is a lot bigger than me. Uh, well, as soon as I've got God Mode on, you can check out the, uh, they've got some cool skin textures. I think in one of the episodes coming up, whoop. that's a nice finishing move. Ooh, damn it. Yeah, in one of the episodes coming up, I'm going to make a Berserk Predator. He's stuck behind those logs. I'll just let you stay there while I loot. I'm going to take your skull. We already have that mask. You see, he has got the Berserker mask on. Come on. Okay, this isn't going as planned. He's stuck. Come on. Come out. Come out there. Come on, come out there. Ah, there we go. Hopefully, he has come unstuck now. We'll take a proper look around the camp because I like this camp. 
Ooh. Yeah, you can see he's got the Berserker mask on with the jaw bone attachment. Well, he wasn't that hard to kill. I'm still confused as to why the dreadlocks don't show up. Oh, I Oh, I worked it out now. <laughs> it's because I have another mod installed that adds hoods to them, which removes the dreadlocks. Oh, poor berserker. Right, let's check out this mask. Seems though it's. I think it's the only one that I haven't showed you. Yeah, it's got a, it. It is a pretty damn beastly mask on any predator, but it look. I think it looks especially good on the berserkers. Definitely. Right, let's have a little look around the camp. I like the uh, that the author of the mods added. Oh, added these the flayed corpses in the trees. You even got a skeever head there. Oh, ancient old war axe and the spine. It looks. It actually looks like a like a real predator camp would do, in one of the films or something. Pretty damn cool, I think. Another some of the new stuff in that's coming out for the mod in the next update it looks pretty damn cool if if you haven't checked out the creators mod creators page for it on the skyrim nexus go check it out there'll be a link in the description and yeah basically there are, there's a lot of cool stuff being added i don't want to like spoil it for the next video but if you want to find out for yourself, go and check it out. I'll just check what's in here. Dragon bone, assault cannon, power. Oh, there's one mask that I haven't showed you. The troll skull mask. This is a pretty cool mask as well. The troll skull. I'm probably looking right at it and I can't even... There we go. This one. Pretty damn cool. I think you'll agree. Right, I think that is it for that episode. The next one will be out a lot sooner because now I've moved into a new flat. I have proper internet. <laughs> and I should be able to upload videos as soon as I finish them. Although, the upload speed's been a bit dodgy. So, I wouldn't count on them, on them coming out stupidly frequently. Although, they never have been coming out stupidly frequently. I've done like one a month so far, which I apologise for. Um, next episode, I'm going to be checking out a Forsworn hideout. It's like a massive temple. It's not really a hideout, but that's what I like to call it. And there is a Berserker Predator that's joined them, I think. So I'm going to go and check that out. It's pretty cool. And if the update comes out with all the new savage crafting things... By the time that video comes out, I will be showing you the new stuff in that instead of the Forsworn hideout. But it's the end of July, the author said, the start of August. So the next one, the next Predators episode should be out in a week, in a week or two time. I don't want to say like, oh, it's going to be out in a week's time. It'll be about a week or two, a bit short, a lot sooner than they have been coming out so I just want to say thank you for all the great feedback and keep on watching thank you <laughs>